Hello, my friends, and welcome to WrestleMania Night 2. At the moment, we've got two people, yeah. and that's enough for me to do a video so we can just have a chat. Yeah. A lot of people get mad about this, but I love it. That's the most important thing. Tell me your name, my friend. Simon. It's not actually Simon, yeah, it's is it? It's actually Simon. Is it? It's actually Simon. It's a wonderful name. We actually name. met at the Simon convention before. Did we really? I don't even know what that means, but I'll take it. What's your name, man? I'm Rahul. Rahul, I just want one question for you, one answer, I should say. Did you enjoy all that? Absolutely. Absolutely. And was the main event the most overbooked, wonderful thing of all time? Yes, and that's the beauty of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I mean, it really, really yeah. was. Now, the big conversation is going to be from this point on, what was better, night one or night two? I think this is probably, I'd have to go back and watch them. But the way that these two WrestleManias connected made me feel very, very happy and very, very warm and fuzzy in my tum tum, especially <laughs> that main event. The guy's just making noises. I appreciate that. I kind of feel like, should we move? Should we shift down somewhere to try and, it's just one of those, look, everybody was going, oh man, I don't want any of this noise. For some reason, the Philadelphia crowd are just super quiet. Apart from these two that are running in, come round, come through the boulder, come through the boulder. That's right, man. That's finally. It's like I summoned it. You can come in as well. Are you sure? Okay, can I just don't put the camera on? I just want to say I like your jumper very much. That's very, very kind. So here is the deal. We're going to run through the card. I'm going to give the good ones up, bad bits are down. And because we do have some nice people and a, a Bray Wyatt shirt, yeah, surely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. I like it. And a good hat as well. Dave Batista used to wear those kind of hats. I don't think about it that way. Well, you know, I like Dave Batista. He's a good guy. But there was, kind of, there was kind of a surprise at the start of WrestleMania, part two, as I would call it. Because much like Triple H had opened night one, Stephanie McMahon came came out to open night two. I wasn't expecting this, and apparently on the run sheets in the back, if we are to believe the internet, it said that Triple H was gonna come out again. Don't know whether she's back for good, like a Take That song. I don't know, we'll ask you, my man. You joined in, I appreciate your energy. Absolutely. What's your name? Uh, Tyree. Tyree, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Simon. Stephanie McMahon, Aww. obviously at the Hall of Fame. Back in the fold, yes or no, Absolutely. or just a one of appearance? Absolutely, she needs to be back. She, whether McMahon or not, she's a Hemsley, yeah. and she needs to be back. And she is the best thing for the women's division of WWE. Well, there we go. That's quite, that's quite, that's quite a big call. We will see. But I did like it. Who said my name? Simon. Come and join in. You can come and join in. You're a tag team champion. Where's your partner? Where's? Oh, thank goodness. I just thank want goodness. To say real quick. I have watched you for years. I'm old. And I've watched What Culture for years, and I love you guys so so much and the fact that I'm here and seeing you and you behind the camera this is amazing right that's now. very kind of this you dude amazing. absolutely we yeah. have to hug we'll have to hug Thank that's so all much. we can do yeah, I'm gonna give you a hug too I see you behind the camera go hug him now it'll be funny it'll make me laugh <laughs> that's oh completely unprofessional I absolutely love it so everybody's feeling good about Wrestlemania then right yeah. Yeah. this is awesome this is great tag team champions twins. WWE champion I just like your jacket to be completely honest and you got a Venom t-shirt on and then are they different there are different titles world heavyweight champion so i need a woman's champion and i need an intercontinental champion hello there how are you good do you know most people have no they're just lovely woman walking by chanting my name this is why i love wrestlemania so look as we do have a little bit of a posse now thank you very much man i love you too sting on the back Bald head, it's just a good thing all around. Hey, buddy, how you doing, man? The Dominican Republic. Are you just standing there because you don't want to come join the fun? <laughs> I love the Dominican Republic. How long did that take? Uh, it's four hours. Oh, uh -huh. that's not that's not impressive. Get out of here, man! No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I absolutely. That was like eight, nine hours. You win. I was eight and a half. So can anyone beat nine hours? This is the kind of content people want to watch on YouTube. Let's get into the damn show. Now there are a few people here. I just want some noise, right, Stephanie? Yeah! But that will work too. Stephanie, my man, up or down? Oh, 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 Down, move oh, down, right. Oh, oh. We may just pick the sound. I apologize. Hello, you. this is lovely. Look at that. There's just people. Oh, you can come join in, but you don't have to. Cool. You can stay there. Cody, Rey Mysterio's Cody, here. Cody, there we go. Cody, 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 We're so going to get arrested. We're going to get arrested. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go, brother Hammond. 
Stash Club Wrestling loves you. That's very kind, man. Thank you very much. Right. People tell me that I shouldn't let the cheering go on. I really enjoy it. So I'm just, so I'm just gonna let it happen. It's like my Christmas bonus. We're gonna get arrested. We're Thank you, my friends. Thank you very much, my friends. I appreciate you. Remember, if I get arrested, we all get arrested. Okay? Right, let us get into match one. We'll bail you out. People are just going crazy. Let's get into people are they're literally just yelling catchphrases. They're just yelling catchphrases. Seth McIntyre, as I'm going to call him, versus Drew Rollins. That works. For the World Heavyweight Championship, kick this off. And I want to say this, right? I sat there and I pondered it. I genuinely think, and again, let me go back home and double check this is true. I think this could be one of the best openings to WrestleMania yeah. ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Think, think about this. Think about this. Who comes out to join commentary? It's CM Punk. There's people over there doing it. Oh, I'm telling you, man, how ridiculous is this? Oh, man, I finished my story a long time ago. I'm in my extra chapters, you see. And then I'll, like, die in a couple of years and we'll be done and it will be cool. But I'm side-questing. I'm side-questing hard. But genuinely, CM Punk comes out to do commentary. And then what they had done is someone in the back had said, do you know what would be great, guys, if we could sell more copies of the video game? So they maxed out their finishes, which is what you do when you're playing a friend and they have no idea. You max out your finishes. Well, it's about to go. So you should enjoy it while you can. We got about 20 minutes before my voice goes entirely. But it honestly went, what? Claymore, curb stomp, Claymore, Claymore, curb stomp, do a curb stomp on an announce table, Claymore, Miss Claymore, Miss curb stomp, Claymore, shocked face, which you gotta do after a one, two, ooh, Claymore, and then Drew McIntyre won the title. Now, what we did here is we elongated it so Drew could finally get his moment in front of fans with the championship. Now, I like Drew McIntyre, I'm a big fan, but then at the very last second, just, just after he had celebrated with his wife, he decided, man, I'm going to get in CM Punk's face and I'm going to do it for an awkward amount of time. I sat there going, man, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Please, something happened, but that was the point. And as soon as Punk had had enough, he swept the leg like he was a karate kid. Down he went. He whipped off. That sounds dodgy. He whipped off his arm brace. He whipped Drew McIntyre's ass. And who came in? Who? Drew Simon Cole. Simon Cole. I call him. I did call him. In. It was none other than fi oh someone finally had gone backstage. Two things must have happened within the story. Word must have got, someone must have run into the Judgment Day locker room. He's down, he's down. And Damien's just sitting there going, I don't know what you mean. They finally explained, you can cash that in. He realized, he came out. He hit the maddest choke slam onto Drew McIntyre. And as I speak to you right now, Drew McIntyre is not the World Heavyweight Champion. Because it went to Damien Priest. 30 seconds. Did you say 30 seconds? 30 seconds! 30 seconds! I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. 30 seconds! 30 seconds. Are you saying 30 seconds or dirty seconds? Both. Both. We're just, we're just making sex references now, okay? If there are any kids watching, I apologize. We are indeed making sex references, okay? I'm very sorry. Here's the deal, man. I love roller coasters and I love shenanigans. I had such a good time watching this. I love you too, but we got a date first. And honestly, to me, and I get a gauge, I gauge the reaction to this, but for my entertainment and what I enjoy, it doesn't just get an up, it's getting a damn golden up. I mean it. Why? 
because no. I think we are looking past WrestleMania. We have a pay-per-view in Scotland or a premium live event in a couple of months. We'll do the rematch. Drew McIntyre will win it there. He'll win it in his real home country and it will be brilliant. I thought this was so much fun. Which, goofy wrestling for life, my friend. Yes! Goofy wrestling! Goofy wrestling as my friend was there in the world. We have, we have a lot of people here. Goofy My word, we have a lot of people here. How are we doing over there? We good? Yeah. How are we doing there? We good? It feels good. I like Philadelphia, man. Philadelphia is good. We then moved on to the Philadelphia street fight. Now look, here's the deal with the Philadelphia street fight. All they needed to do was whack each other with weapons for a bit. So what did they do? They went out there and they whacked each other with weapons for a bit. Right, easy, exactly, easy, exactly. Easy, exactly. Easy, That's easy, right. Easy, dumb, easy, dumb, easy, dumb. But we had, easy, dumb, we had B Fab hitting Scarlet. Scarlet hit B Fab. I've just got written down here Crazy Montez for Dive. These are the kind of notes that I make when I'm watching where professional where wrestling. That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I didn't see what happened on the television portion of the main event. But when Roman Reigns got a kendo stick, I was pleading, saying, finally tell me the kendo stick was there because of the street fight earlier. <laughs> Where do kendo sticks come from? Who walks down to a ring before a wrestling show and goes, you better put some kendo sticks under there? Especially because on this WrestleMania, guess what else was going to have to be under the ring? Solo. So the Undertaker. Oh, <laughs> solo. And Solo. And Solo. Did anybody else really want Solo to come out in a hoodie again? I want a Hornswoggle! You want, wait, the only one. hang on a minute. You wanted Hornswoggle? Hell yeah, I wanted oh, Hornswoggle. Good for you, good for you, good for you. Here's the deal with the Philadelphia Street Fight. It was just fun, it was just entertaining. Some people say it didn't feel like a WrestleMania match. I just had a good time. I'm giving it, oh no, here we go. It's a resting time. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. It's an ambulance, it's an ambulance match. Let's go. We have an match. ambulance match. <laughs> I'm giving the Philadelphia Street Fight an up. I thought it was pretty damn good. We then move into LJ Styles. LJ Styles. AJ Styles versus LA Knight. Yeah! Yeah! Right. Yeah! I want to ask a quick question. I got a quick question. Whose entertainment of this match was slightly stifled because they couldn't see because of the bright light? So, on one, exactly, yeah. on one side of the arena, people couldn't see of a bright light. However, if you were able to see, man, I tell you, dude, these two went out there and they kicked each other's ass. I love this match, honestly. I, it's, this is the craziest thing I'll say. Other than the main event, I'm going to go home and watch this again because I think it may actually be better on television. Yeah. They honestly, they'd realize, okay, we are competing with a lot of nonsense on this show, so we will be the match, two plus two equals Mateo. So we will be the match where we go out and we just lay everything in. It was super duper stiff. I actually thought this was great, which is why I like the finish. AJ goes phenomenal forearm. LA Knight just stops him, hits the blunt force trauma, and he beats him. That's a wrestling match. Given that you had a crazy start and you had a crazy finish not everything has to be crazy I'm giving it up it's as simple as that that's right and I love LA Knight I love both these guys wait, 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 wait. L -A -Night. yeah <laughs> love this guy can you what sorry can you get wait one second one second firstly firstly what's your name my friend Ivan Ivan how did you enjoy Wrestlemania I loved it. You loved it. Well, given that you loved it, and given that your name is Ivan, you don't just get it up. You get a gold. You get a gold up. That's right.
So around about this time is when I realized I was just having the best time of my life. I don't know what that says about me. Maybe I need to get out more. But we had Logan Paul versus Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens. I was laughing straight away because Kevin Owens drives a golf cart to the ring and then he came to get his friend, Randy Orton. I was like, isn't that nice? Isn't that a lovely thing to do? And then when eventually, obviously, they weren't able to coexist, Randy Orton's face after he tried to hit the RKO. Man, do you know what they did? Where's my man? Where's my man? Goofy wrestling for life. Goofy wrestling for life. They were, they were raw. They were just having fun and having a good time. And that is the kind of stuff I love the most. And also, I thought every... Right, who went crazy when speed? Yes! <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> the fun, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Honestly, I, I couldn't believe it because what hasn't he done? What he, he's, he's, like, he's still like seven years old and he's completed life. He's completed life. And honestly, Randy on booted him so hard and he RKO'd him so hard. I was absolutely cracking up. And honestly, wasn't it just right? And then honestly, I tell you, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton clearly got together and come up with this because man, Kevin Owens went for the pop-up powerbomb and Randy Orton, what is he, like 44-year-old Randy Orton, who is as big as a house these days, in the air, reversed into an RKO and I was like, man, that is one of my favorite ones I've seen in ages. Of course, Logan Paul runs back in there. He does the classic, he steals the pin. He hit an absolutely incredible frog splash, by the way. That guy is mad agile, but he retains the United States Championship. But this is... Feed me more. Feed me more. Feed me more. Right, right, right. Wait, 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 wait. I don't mind. I don't mind being compared to Ryback, right? I don't mind being compared to... What happened? Hey, yo, that was crazy. What did he do? Yo, what happened? Bro, I square you up. It's all right. <laughs> what? I'm a whole pro wrestler. You're a pro wrestler? Six years in, John Scratch. Well, well done, man. I'm proud of you, dude. Yes. Good for you, dude. I'll go real quick. Dude, I'm, on, not gonna, I'm not going to fight you on the streets of Philadelphia. If I'm from the streets of Chicago. Street but we're in Philadelphia. I'll tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do, right? You're going to start your story. I'm going to start my story. And we're going to get booked in a ring. And brother, I'm going to put you over. And you'll beat me one, two, three. Well, all I can say is, you better go hard or go home. Oh. Right. I, I, I have to go home, otherwise I get deported. So I got, I got to go. I appreciate you, man. I totally lost my train of thought. I had something I wanted to say. But then somebody sized me up. Huh? You lost to Walt Disney. You lost to Walt Disney. <laughs> but no, genuinely, I thought this was a genuine, this is a really fun match. It was just a really fun match. And it kind of just goes to show that, I mean, look, Logan Paul, I think, is a ridiculous talent when it comes to pro wrestling. But Kevin Owens and Randy Orton have incredible brains for sports entertainment, whatever you want to call it. I'm giving this an up. And if I hadn't given this up so many golden ups to this damn event, I would have given it one. But I'm not going to, but you should watch it. It's a laugh riot. It's so damn entertaining. When I kind of feel like we had the emotional moment of the night, that's probably a bit strong, it's a little bit cheesy, but Bailey defeated EO Sky for the Women's Championship. Now, the, she deserves it. Does deserve it. She, she does deserve it. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I need to do I need to do one of my quick polls, okay? Because I don't know how I feel about it. I want to make sure I want to let everyone know Bailey is one of my it's all of underappreciated performers. She's right up there for me. Was anybody else a little bit confused about the entrance? Yeah. Like I thought it was I thought it was great the way it looked and stuff. But I was like, wait, well, I see Egyptian now. I don't know. I don't know what get. I just wanted an opinion from everybody. But in terms of the match, the whole match was really good, but the last few minutes were absolutely excellent. At one point Bailey went for the rose plant and EO Sky just like kipped up out of it. Oh man, it's a really, really good ending. And of course, because people are so emotionally invested into Bailey, she eventually hits the rose plant after the match of an elbow drop, which I also liked she gets the one two three and once again that's all i need from wrestlemania sometimes just have the good guys win yeah. that's simon yeah. how are we doing man how you doing we good thanks very much for swearing appreciate that always good <laughs> but seriously i am i'm going to give it an up because bailey deserved her wrestlemania moment and she got it absolutely right give bailey a round of applause Woo! When we get to our main event, 
Now, I w right, let's, let's get it out of the way, okay? I'm not going to say this is a criticism. It's not a criticism. It's just something I wanted, which I think would have made this arguably the perfect wrestling match for one bald a-hole. That's right. I can only imagine that at one point when people were writing things down on a piece of paper, and look, I'm a huge Undertaker fan, but I can only assume that spot was meant for Stone Cold Steve Austin. And it's literally the only thing that could have made this better. Because if that glass had broken, listen, the, und the Undertaker's bong or dong or bell, whatever the hell we're calling it, is iconic. There ain't nothing more iconic than the glass breaking. But look, maybe Steve Austin feels that WrestleMania 39, 38, 39, 38, whatever, 38, right? Maybe he thinks that's the perfect cherry on top of his career. But aside from that, we go 20 minutes, it's good wrestling. People weren't really buying the near falls and near should you, because it's bloodline rules, right? You understand there's going to be shenanigans. Out comes Jimmy Uso. Then there's Jay. They do a crazy spear spot off the, off the aisle way. That was nuts. Then, of course, Solo Sokoa runs up. And I sat there, literally just like, clenching every muscle in my body, going, please let John Cena come out. And he did. This place went crazy. He he gets into it, then almost instantly The Rock comes out. That's another sexual joke in case you're interested. Then The Rock comes out and I'm like, man, this is just so much fun. And at that point, everyone where I was sitting, you could feel that they wanted Steve Austin. But man, if you're going to replace it with anyone, do it with The Undertaker. The end to this is just, it's, the, it's everything I want from wrestling. It's silly, it's dumb, it's cinema. Thank you, Twitter account. It's all of these wonderful things rolled into one. And, of, and we had Seth Rollins as well. Did anyone think that was weird. Seth Rollins comes out of shield Seth Rollins. Yeah. He just took him out straight away. He just got murdered. He got murdered. I got confused. I thought it was like in a purse. Yeah. So straight. But that's the thing. Roman absolutely got his revenge. He hits him with the chair. And then Cody is back. Cody hits three Cody cutters. I oh, sorry, three crossroads. And he gets the one, two, three. And listen, man. I went nuts. I went nuts because Cody Rhodes will do the thing right. He finished his story. He is the WWE champion. I think Roman Reigns. The right man, the right place at the right time. The right man, the right place at the right time. Cody, 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 Cody. As my man over here just said, it was the right place, the right man at the right time. But also, I want to give props to Roman Reigns, man. Look, I know there's... Yeah, 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 yeah. There's been some ups and downs, obviously. Yeah, let's do it, let's order. There's been some ups and downs, obviously. But you do not get this kind of payoff without the investment that we have put into this. But I just, I'm, I couldn't be a bigger Cody Rhodes fan. I think Cody Rhodes is a wonderful human being. And seeing him become the brand new WWE champion, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy in my tum tum. I cannot wait. Also, I don't know whether people picked up on this. WrestleMania actually ends with The Rock looking at Cody Rhodes. So I don't think we're done here. And maybe, right? Maybe. So even though I have absolutely spammed the golden ups, I'm giving it one last golden up. This main event was absolutely brilliant. And it's getting a gold up. That's right. That's right. Now, my friends, as my voice is about to go, I have one last question for you, okay? Did everybody enjoy WrestleMania? Yeah! Hell yeah. Woo, and thank the you. Today. And, and the better weather today, right? It wasn't as cold. Yeet! 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 Hey, 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 guys. Simon called it. Simon called it. Simon called it. I didn't call anything. Simon I'll take it. I'll take everything. everything. My he friend, everything. I called it. That's right. But I just want to thank you, everyone who tuned in from home. And I want to thank everybody here, genuinely. I love this. I love this ship. Thank you for supporting Positive Wrestling. And thank you for supporting Ups and Downs. We have been What Culture. We will be at Raw tomorrow night. Or maybe Raw's already happened by the time you see this. Take care. Like the video. Share the video. Subscribe. Goodbye. Let's go. Woo!